Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. It's been a crazy day here. I, I've been on the road again. You know, just can't wait to get on the road again. You know, I, I've been on the road getting back home here, and we've had a, a busy day. We had, of course, the Dallas Cowboys having a big last practice fight, last padded practice fight. Bench clears, you know, everybody getting involved and stuff. Jake Ferguson makes a good catch over Damian Wilson, and, and Damian Wilson didn't like it and stuff. Got in his face, and, you know, Jake Ferguson shoved him. So we got that out the way. Um, I haven't actually been able to make this one live, but Micah Parsons basically telling everybody he wants to have all of the Cowboys sack records and be – uh, NFL Defensive Player of the Year. You know, I don't know why he stopped there. He should have just said MVP, MVP of the whole damn league and say, I'm going to take this thing as a defensive player because I'm that good. We have Linville Joseph signed by the Cowboys. Now, in case you hadn't heard, that, that's a big man. He's a big man. He is six foot four. 323 pounds he is a true one technique guy he is 35 years old he played with the buffalo bills last year with a combined 12 tackles one sack um with the eagles the year before he had 20 tackles um combined and a half a sack and the year before that with the chargers he was really productive 57 combined tackles and one sack this is an aging veteran who is a Mike Zimmer guy that Mike Zimmer knows and can be another guy who can help be a teacher on the field, much like Eric Kendricks. He's not going to be in every, I don't think he's going to be an every down player, but it's going to be a rotation of guys where the Cowboys, that defensive line, that defensive front, when we come against some teams that are running, running the ball teams, we got some beef to go on the line but that's not what this video is really about y'all no 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 it's no it's not what this video is it's about cd lamb see the joneses mm, keep effing around and then they find out see we know justin jefferson 35 million, right? 35 million. Um, got his deal. Cowboys saying, you know, we'll offer a little under 33. We'll, we'll try and get a bargain. And see, this is another one of those cases where they screw the pooch. Because Jamar Chase decided, you know what? I'm not paying nice guy anymore. I'm going to hold in so they don't take any of my buddy. <sighs> You get my game checks because I'm here, but I'm holding in. So this is what we're hearing about Jamar Chase, and this is the very bad news on CeeDee Lamb's contract negotiations. At Local 12 Skinny tells us on ESPN 1530 that he's heard that Jamar Chase and his camp are looking for a four-year deal in the $160 million range with about $120 million of it fully guaranteed <clears throat> from the Bengals. What? That's like Daniel Jones' money with more guaranteed. So, to put that in perspective, Justin Jefferson got a four-year deal with 110 million guaranteed. Forget about the final number. Forget about the 160. It's how much of it is fully guaranteed. So they're saying guaranteed would be 120 million. So yeah, that's what you really look at. So it's 10 million more than what Justin Jefferson. Now here's where it gets interesting here. Those are extremely large number for a wide receiver contract, even when compared to the largest one in existence. Minnesota Vikings All-Pro Justin Jefferson signed a four-year, $140 million, fully, uh, featuring $110 million in guarantees and $88.7 million fully guaranteed. But like the reported Chase numbers, all, those, all that 
All of that is new money added to Justin Jefferson's existing contract. The total value of both deals tell a different story. Now, this is this is where somebody's kind of sugarcoating it a little bit, okay? They're trying to make it sound like, oh, that is really, that's not as bad as it sounds. It's only $120 million guaranteed. Okay. So here's where it gets interesting. The reported numbers from Skinner are what would be added to Chase's existing contract. He's scheduled to make $26.6 million in cash over the next two years. And when factoring in the signing bonus that has been paraded throughout the life of his rookie contract, the total figure is $31 million. So he's basically saying, okay, so you got two years at $31 million, 31.6, okay. And then you would start the other contract. Two years and and $31 million plus four years, $160 million, comes out to six years, 191. In terms of total cap commitments for the Bengals, the real cash value that Chase would earn is 186 million. Oh, that's it, 100, okay. There may be 40 million per year. There may be 40 million per year in new money, but the real average value is way down at 31.1 million. Oh shit. My negro, that's great. As for Jefferson, his total deal spans 5 years and amounts to 159.743. So the total AVAV is 31.9. Oh. Okay. Okay, so does that make you feel better? Here's the problem. You got the Cowboys down here effing around, saying, you know, how about how about 32? 32 32.5 there, CD. You know that that's real good. You're you're the next highest paid behind Justin Jefferson. So what if? What if Jamar Chase gets that number? Now you got 40 million. 40 million. Justin Jefferson at 35. CeeDee Lamb's number just went up. Just went up. If the Bengals could guarantee Joe Burrow's 219 million a year ago, they can manage a little more than half of that for a player they bent over backwards to sign. Chase could ask for more to eclipse Justin Jefferson's uh, money for a year um, and still hold real leverage against the club as a consensus top wide out. Wow. So what they're trying to spin here is the Bengals could have him under contract for the next six years. Four hundred sixty million dollars more. How you like that one, guys? Hmm. Needless to say, this just costs the Cowboys more money. If this is true, there you have it. In a nutshell, another day in Cowboys land. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you guys. Peace out. <laughs>